What's going on folks and welcome back to another scum video. I hope you're all doing well as always. Thank you very much for your ongoing support on the channel and please don't forget to smash that thumbs up before we get into it as it does take the channel to some awesome places. Now I have posted some news so to speak with scum over the last week. I'm going to keep this very short and very fast for you guys. Um, you know that we've put a video out about the modular base building which I will put in the description below for you guys to go and check out. But here's a few images of what that video was all about. And you can see this modular base building is in development currently right now. I don't expect this to be out with 0.7. And when we go through this video, I'm going to tell you what I think is going to be coming out in 0.7. So here we have the modular base building. Incredible system. Definitely going to take the game to some new places, make it more interesting. We have a new motorbike here. You can see I'm pretty sure this is called the Hog. This was only uploaded about 30 minutes ago as well. So there's, uh, there's a couple of images here of this motorbike. We have uh, a new compound, a new color for the compound, which is uh, Arctic white, I'm guessing, or something like that, which is going to be cool. So we don't have a bright red up, up in the uh, mountainous areas. Here we have um, some illustration of the outposts that are going to be coming in as well. We don't know too much about this, ladies and gents, okay? So I'm not going to go too much into this, but it's very interesting. It's a whole communal area, and it's even got a bank there as well. Most people are going to be like, but why have we got a banking system? But don't forget, guys, this game's going into different uh, areas that most open world survival games haven't even touched on in, in some ways. So having a banking system will definitely give us more meaning to maybe even make money, get money, or whatever. Who knows? I don't know about this. I'm just speculating. But as you can see, uh, there's a lot of stuff in there, like a massive communal area, which is really cool because I love it when a game can bring their player base together like this. Uh, here we have the VHS-2, which is a Croatian uh, assault rifle. It has a fully automatic and a semi-automatic setting as well. Effective range up to five to 600 meters, 850 rounds per minute. And that is almost the same as the VSS which is 800 to 900 um, rounds per minute. So you know how fast the VSS fires. This will fire almost the same speed. Now, this is like high-tech stuff, the latest uh, Croatian standard army rifle. Uh, it is gas-operated, obviously, 5.56. You can see a G36-style rail underneath, and it's also got a G36-style rail on the top as well, which should be fixed, but I don't know how the game... I don't know how they're going to actually implement it. Um... And there's a few really cool things um, with this as well. That rail underneath, you can see there, can hold an underslung grenade launcher. So whether they bring that in or not, I don't know. I've, I've actually fired one in real life, and they are fun. So uh, moving on to the next one, we have uh, we have a picture of a pistol, uh, which is the HSSF 19, 9x19, which uh, I, think, um, I think these weapons will probably come in with 0.7. Not 100% sure, but that's just my guess on that case. Uh, here's another picture of the outpost. Pause it here. Have a little look-see. See, see what you can see. Read some of the names on the drawings itself, not just what's written by the side. And just pause it here and have a quick look, ladies and gents. Okay. Uh, we have some vehicles here. So these vehicles are the new armoured vehicles. I believe these will be coming with 0.7. They look almost finished anyway. Uh, and you're going to be able to upgrade these throughout the island um, and go, you know, along your way. Um, and take some Zeds out in, 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 in the process as well, or players at the same time. And you can see, you can put a load of stuff on top too. So if you're traveling from point A to point B, getting loot, or even transferring from base to base, there we go. Um, okay. Um, also, here's a gorgeous picture. A gorgeous picture of Tommy Slav's new motorbike. That is, like, absolutely beautiful. Again, congratulations, Tommy Slav, on, um, on passing your uh, bike license today. That was absolutely awesome. Uh, and he did post this on Twitter. I'll leave the link down below so you can see his leaks as well. Also, in this video clip here, I've got a couple of video clips, guys. In this video clip here, you can see the bicycle and the Zed's chasing it. Bicycle, I'm guessing, with 0.7 as well. Um, and here is something very different as well. You can see a mocap video here. Um, of the devs wearing a mocap suit and they're doing the animation for jumping out of an aircraft. Now, before anyone says anything, this was actually pre-early access. So this was already in the storyline. This was already written before any of us even saw or heard of the game. That's how they wanted the prisoners to get onto the island. They threw them out of the planes and these prisoners just didn't know where the hell they were. So yes, this is going to be interesting. How's it going to work out for people either landing in bases or scoping out other bases or and stuff like that? We just don't know how it's going to be implemented and they always like to throw something interesting in the works as well um personally it's a very battle royale feel i prefer it the way it is right now but who knows who knows how this is going to be it could be fun um but we don't know so guys with that being said <clears throat> i'm losing my voice and i will love you and leave you all and thank you very much for your time have a lovely day and i'll catch you on a live stream tomorrow stay safe guys take care